So people always ask me, aren't you embarrassed to show parts of yourself and your house that are messy? And my answer is absolutely not. And there are two reasons for this. The first is because I know out there right now are people like me who feel like they're drowning, trying to keep up with a standard of cleanliness that just isn't obtainable for them right now. Maybe they have young children, maybe they work ridiculous hours, or maybe they have problems with their mental health. Whatever it is, I want people to know that they're normal and it's okay. It's okay not to clean behind your fucking oven once a week trying to clean down the sides of it. I've been staring at the cracks in my oven gathering grime for months. I've wanted to do something about it, but I haven't been able to. With work and taking care of a one-year-old, I haven't been able to prioritise it. My top priority right now is making sure the house looks decent, not pristine, and spending time with my family. And the second reason, I don't have the capacity to feel embarrassed anymore, and I'm going to tell you why. When I was younger, I was painfully shy and embarrassed of everything, right? I was embarrassed to walk into a room, couldn't make phone calls, couldn't order my food at a restaurant, that kind of shy. And when I was about 14, 15, me and my friends decided to camp at Download Festival for the five days. We get there, set up camp, blah, blah, blah. And halfway through the first day, I realise I need a wee. So we queue up for the port lose and I get stage fright. All I'm thinking about is everyone queuing outside knowing I'm going for a wee. Or worse, a poo. So I end up having a wee at stupid o'clock in the morning in the dark because I just can't do it. I was a proper emo kid at the time, right? And I had it in my head that I was going to meet the love of my life there. I'll post a picture of what I used to look like at the end of this video. (laughs) By the way, I apologise for the sound quality again. It's my new phone. I don't know why it's doing it, but it keeps dipping in and out. So another day or two goes by, right? And I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. Because I really need a poo. But little old me's thinking, I'm not having a shit in those port I can't even have a wee. And how's my soulmate going to fall in love with me if they know I poo? So I hold it in. Another day goes by. I'm just not having a good time at this point. But I try and tough it out. But just to set the scene, I'm touching cloth the entire time. I've got the sweats. I'm walking like I've already shit myself. Stomach cramps. I've just had enough and I want to go home. Then the last day comes, I'm sat in my tent sulking, and something starts to happen. I'm like, shit, it's coming, I'm actually going to shit myself now. So I'm frantically looking around for some kind of poo receptacle, and the only thing I can find is my own shoe. So I'm sat there, squatting over this tiny brown high heel, and yes, I took high heels to a festival, because another thing I was embarrassed about was being short. But yeah, I end up shitting in my own shoe. In a tent, in broad daylight, shadows of people walking past, while some twat sat outside playing Wonderwall on his guitar. It's always fucking Wonderwall, isn't it? And I was thinking, is this my actual life? Is this actually happening? I thought I was in a fucking fever dream. But yeah, something changed in me that day. As I walked past the camp carrying a bag of my own shit-filled shoes. And now I don't feel embarrassed of anything anymore. I've pooed myself to the soundtrack of Oasis. But honestly, fuck it. Who cares if people are going to judge you? The only people that matter, the only people whose opinions matter, are the people who love you for you. Life's short and it's bizarre. We're floating on a rock in the middle of space and we're really worrying about things like whether we've pushed a door that says pull or if someone comes round and sees a speck of dust on the floor. We should be enjoying ourselves and laughing and just making the most of it. But it's hard, I know, we get caught up. I have to remind myself of it all the time. Especially when we're bombarded with perfect on social media, perfect houses, perfect bodies. But none of it's real. We all struggle with something or another. And no one's house looks perfect all the time. And the people that do have cleaners. So stop being so hard on yourself. If you know you're trying your best, that's all that matters. And if some twat does have anything to say about it, your mum-in-law, your nosy neighbour, just laugh at them. Because anyone who has it in them to try and bring someone else down is miserable themselves. They really are. Feel sorry for them. And if anyone wanted to see what I look like at download, here I am. Those are the brown shoes. Thank God I shat in them because they're disgusting.